guys, Cool here and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to take you through six different Roblox games that are perfect for horse lovers. After searching through over 50 different games, these are my top picks, but if you have any favourites, leave them in the comments section below. I'll also list the game details below for you all to check out. So let's get started with Meadows Ranch. Now Meadows Ranch is created by Meadows Ranch. It does have a Discord and Twitter. Now I genuinely love how this game was created. Just the time and effort and details is incredible. I have not seen anything like it in any other horse game. So the last update was in 2017, so it has been a couple of years before it has been updated and renewed, but it still has such a big following. So a lot of people in the group are very anxious for an update. So fingers crossed, perhaps one day that will happen. So the game has lots of different features, just like the store, which is where you can purchase gear for your horse or for yourself. So there's lots of different areas to explore as well. So you've got the stable, you've got the wash bay slash barn at the back, um, and also the surrounding area. So there are a few things in the surrounding area that is something a little bit different it's actually quite nice to come across so definitely go exploring if you play this game now there are different horses that you can buy which is brilliant so each horse has the cutest bio and i thought it was really cool that you can choose to either lease or purchase so this is the first and only game that I've played where you can click a button and pay money to lease a horse. So without having to go on a, Greek, a, group, a group or going on a Discord or anything like that, you can actually lease a horse in-game. They're bomb done. So they also each have their own performance levels. So you can save up to buy a very fast horse. Or if you work hard enough, you could even get a special horse like a unicorn. So I have been playing this game and my horse is up to level four. So far, so far, we're getting there, slow and steady. So next on the list is jobs. So there are only two different jobs, which is a bit of a pity. So you can either muck stalls or wash horses. So for this video, I'm giving just a quick example of washing a horse just to show how well put together this game really is. So you really have to actually pick up the right items and use them properly. So that simple eye to detail makes games a lot more enjoyable to play. The other thing I've noticed about this game is there's no glitches. I have not come across any glitches or any problems, any lag, nothing at all. So even riding around, jumping, everything like that, I've had no trouble. So that's really nice because a lot of games that I have been playing because I've played so many horse games <laughs> lately to create this video. There's a lot of games that they're pretty rough around the edges. They need a little fine tuning, but this game is perfect. As far as I can see, every time I've played, it's been perfect. Next up is the classes and lessons. So this is how you upgrade your horse and improve its disciplines. You can ride in their training area or take your horse outside. Just be careful not to ride out too far or you'll be teleported to another area. Now the menu, which you have to admit is the best put together menu ever, is an easy way to move around the world. There's an awesome selection of trail rides to choose from. 
I haven't unlocked all of them yet, but I'm working on it. So we're going to have a quick look at Ka Kahalu feet. Oh, I'm so sorry. I probably pronounced that terribly. But I won't show you the whole trail, just so you guys can explore it on your own. And that's it for the first game that I recommend. I'm keeping my fingers firmly crossed that Meadows Ranch will be updated again. So with over 4,000 members in the games group and the group being active still to this day, I can easily say it's definitely a popular one. Next on the coolie list is Gold River Equestrian by Poker Horse 12. This has been updated this year and you can request a custom horse through the owner's YouTube channel. Now I chose this game because it's a nice little map that you can play with your friends without being overrun by other players. There is a lot of worlds like that, but I really like how they have set up the cross-country course. It's easily the best course that I have seen so far. There's also jumping courses, a store, houses and barns. Just beware of the cat. I'm not even kidding. It will get you. And of course, I did put my horse back where it belongs in the stable where I did find it. Now, please be aware that if you do play horse games and you're just visiting and want to look around, you borrow a horse, please put it back where you have found it. Um, also, double check the rules of the game. A lot of horse games do have set rules of which horses you can and cannot ride, especially horses that people own. Um, please don't just take any old horse. Read the rules, stick by the rules, and just take your horse back where you found it. Next up is Horse Valley by Sir Ming. Now, if you play horse games, then you've most likely come across this one. At the moment, it is a very popular game to play. Starting at the stables, everyone is given a starter horse, which you can name. You can also change your appearance, a little bit of what your horse looks like, and you can train your horse up in different disciplines. There are four jobs you can do. The jobs are fun to complete and they pay fairly well. You do need to care for your horse regularly. So feeding, watering and grooming are a must. Around the map, you will find the adoption barn where you can purchase horses from. There's an awesome selection of horses in there to choose from, including horses with special effects. To upgrade your horse, simply head to the training areas and collect the stars. Each area will give you upgrades to different disciplines like speed or agility. Steeplechases and races will pop up at the top of your screen, which you can join. And it's another way that you can earn cash and you actually compete against other players, which is really cool. Now, I do strongly suggest that you <laughs> upgrade your horse's jumping ability before doing the steeplechase or it will be a very long ride. Over at the cute little town, you do have a saloon open that you can explore and a tax store where you can buy some awesome looking saddles. There's also a vet on hand and a lady to buy carrots from, which is what you feed your horse. So overall, this is a great horse game with plenty of things to interact with. You can also explore out into the hills and the woods but be careful of the wolves. So they will chase you and attack both you and your horse. So thank goodness there's a vet on hand. 
being such a popular game, I found that there's always someone playing, which is really nice. And it's also a great game for role playing as well. So if you do like more of a role playing where you interact with other players, then this is a great game to play. They also have a second version of the game available for 200 Robux. So I have purchased this game and I am currently playing the game as well. And I will do a review on that game as well. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Olive1616 for volunteering to do some jumping for the video. You're such a nice person and I look forward to playing this game with you again in the future. Moving on to Pine Trails Stables, renovated by WolfieCat07. For this game, you can work your way up the ranks and be a part of an equestrian team and request your own custom horse. You can also adopt horses and there's training and lease horses available for casual riding. This is another smaller world, but I think it's absolutely adorable. So the decorations are really cute and it has a very relaxed feel about it. The horses are animated, which is really cool, and it has its different arenas to play in, so like your jump courses. The beach is really cute too. You can have a few friends, have some beach races along the shore, then just chill out at the bar and relax. There's also a little race course to zoom around, so it's a perfect game just to chill with a few friends and ride horses. Horse World by Virtuality World? I think I said that correctly. So this is one of the horse role-playing games that I've included in the list. So I did originally want to keep it to just riding games, but this one definitely deserves a mention. This is a highly popular game where you can become a horse. Today I'm playing the computer version. So you, you can customise how you look um, and the breed of horse as well. So in game there always seems to be people playing so it's very unlikely that you'll be on your own. There's several emotes to play with like lying down or bucking. There's also plenty of different areas to explore and the whole game is based on interacting with other players and role playing. And finally, last but not least, is Oakwood Stables by Oakwood Stables. So they do have a group you can join and I must say this is the funniest horse game I've ever ever played. Um, unfortunately the first video I recorded of this game had an issue um, and had to be deleted but it was it was so funny there were literally horses flying and spinning in the air it was just so funny. But to get your own horse you join the group and follow the instructions on there. I was very lucky that I met Loving Horses 1233, who was kind enough to let me ride the horses in her stable for the video. So a big shout out to her, you're the best. There's several different jumping arenas around the world and lots of stables, so plenty of space for new players. Across the way, you'll also find a cross-country course that I completely failed at, so I'm not including that in the video. The poor horse that I was riding, goodness. So the controls do take a bit to get used to, but it is pretty funny when you do lose control. Now, this player, I'll pop their name in the bottom of the screen um, because I'm, I'm sure to pronounce your name very badly. I'm very, very sorry. 
but I'd also like to thank them for allowing me to record them doing a few jumps. So there you go guys. So that finishes up my picks for horse games in Roblox and that's my puppy dog barking just to finish off the video for you all. So I had a lot of fun making this video and it did take a while so thank you for the people that I were playing with. Thank you for your patience and hanging in there until I got it all done. But until next time, bye.